Rising above the fray of partisan politics, Governor Hogan shook hands, not his fist, with Democrats. Most agree the governor strives to find middle ground to resolve issues important to the state. I thought his tone was wonderful and really fitting for the three years that Governor Hogan has led our state in a bipartisan, middle temperament way. The governor touted economic progress under his watch, his cuts in taxes and fees, job growth. Looking ahead, he urged passage of his ambitious legislative agenda. This includes accountability in schools, adjusting to the federal tax overhaul, stabilizing health care costs, and redistricting reform. He reminded legislators how working together gets results. We worked hard to usher in a new spirit of bipartisanship in Annapolis and to create an environment of trust and cooperation where the best ideas rise to the top based upon their merit. He's genuine, he cares about people. I thought the way he uh, got across the, uh, the opioid epidemic uh, with, the, with the parents up there was genuine. Hogan singled out the family of U.S. veteran Chad Dolch. The governor spoke at Chad's graduation from welding school. Karen sent me a picture from that day of the three of us, and I have it here with me today. Chad struggled with PTSD and addiction. Just before Christmas, Chad died from a heroin overdose. When we talk about this crisis, we are really talking about fighting for all of the Chads. The city delegation remained seated when the governor talked about his crime-fighting initiatives. When he talked about murder and violence, he talked about changing sentencing. He didn't talk about getting guns off the street. But Mayor Catherine Pugh finds the governor easy to work with. The state has been very supportive thus far. Other Democrats call the speech safe. You don't go too far in a controversy. Uh, you praise everything that's good, and you forget a few of the things not going well. The governor criticized Washington, but he never mentioned President Trump. The Democrats applaud his ability to dance around the elephant in the room. Democrats consider his State of the State address a campaign speech. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. And if you'd like to read the governor's full address, you can use the WBAL-TV mobile app. It's available for download on the App Store and Google Play.